Welcome back, Turtleholics. Have you ever wondered how you can tell the difference between a male and female turtle? If so, this video is for you. I'm gonna run through a couple different methods of how you can see physical characteristics on a turtle that will help you determine if it is a boy or girl. Let's get into it. Now, the main difference between a male and female turtle is that female turtles typically have a lot more attitude. <laughs> totally kidding, that's a joke. Let's get into the real steps. You might find it interesting to know that the gender of a turtle is actually determined by the temperature of the egg during its incubation period. So colder temperatures result in male turtles, warmer result in female turtles. Here's a range for red-eared sliders, and you can see if it's anything in between this range, then it'll be a toss-up, so it might be a male or female. So unless you're actually incubating the eggs at a certain temperature, you really won't know what gender they are, and it actually might take a couple years for physical characteristics to come about in order for you to determine if it's a male or a female. Now, the easiest way to tell the difference between a male and female turtle is based on their tail and this has to do with the shape and location of something called the cloaca on their tail. And this visual here does a really good job highlighting the differences between a male and female tail. So for starters, you can just look at the pure difference in size between the male and female tail. You can see the one on the right for the male is a lot thicker and longer than the females on the left. And then second is that cloaca that I mentioned earlier, and that's what the arrow is pointing to. So the cloaca is basically used for waste and then also for reproduction. But you can see where the arrow is pointing on the left-hand side, that cloaca is located a lot closer to the edge of the shell versus on the right side, you can see that cloaca on a male is a lot farther along on the tail. So now let's take a look at Penny's cloaca to help identify her. So here Penny is swimming around and you can see pretty easily right here where the finger is pointing at, that's her cloaca. It's really close to the shell. So Penny is in fact a female. Now the length of a turtle's front claws can also help you determine if it's male or female. So females typically have shorter front claws so you can see those are these right here. And then here you can actually compare the size of Penny's claws versus a male rider slider's claws. And you can see it's a pretty noticeable difference. I'm not great at the metric system, but it looks like the male claw is at least two or three centimeters longer than Penny's. So this is a really easy and noticeable way to tell the difference between a male and female turtle. And the reason is because males usually have longer claws because it helps with mating when they're mounting on the female turtle, it helps them with grip. Now on the other side, on the back, if you can see here, she's kind of got it tucked in a little bit. But female turtles actually usually have longer back claws. And the reason for this is because when they're laying eggs, they need to dig holes. So over time, female turtles developed longer back end claws. There are also a couple mating rituals that you can use to help determine whether a turtle is a male or a female. For example, there's this really funny behavior that male turtles will do when they try to impress a turtle, where they start like clapping their claws together. I'll put something on the screen now. So this isn't exclusively a male behavior. Like, like I said, females can do this, but most of the time, if you see a turtle like doing this little slapping the claws thing, usually it's a male turtle trying to impress a female turtle. Also, if you ever see a turtle, like I said, in the wild, or maybe you have two turtles at home and they're mounting each other, usually the turtle that is mounting on top is usually the male turtle. This isn't always the case, but I'd say probably 90% of the time, if a turtle is mounting on top of another turtle, that turtle is a male. Now, another way you can tell the difference between a male and female is with the bottom of their shell, and this doesn't work for every species. However, most female turtles, if you look at the bottom of their shell, is going to be completely flat. So I'll try to give you an angle here, but you can see that it's completely flat. If I lay her down on the ground, it's going to be completely touching. Now, male turtles, like I said, this isn't for every species, but a lot of male turtles will actually have a shell that's a little bit concaved. So you can see it's, it's like a little curved like this. And the reason so is also because of mating with a uh, with a concave shell, it actually helps them latch on to the female turtle better. Now, another way to determine the gender of a turtle is by measuring the length of a turtle shell. So if you have two or three turtles that were born around the same time, interestingly enough, female turtles for most species tend to be larger. So I'm gonna put a couple charts up on the screen to give you an idea of different types of species and how big they get. But you can see by the difference between the male and females that females can sometimes be two or three inches larger than the males. So like I said, this is something that if you know the turtles were born around the same time, it is a really good indicator. But even if you don't know when they were born, typically if there's like a big group of turtles, the larger ones tend to be females. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you, whether it's your own turtle at home or you just see a turtle out in the wild and you want to determine if it's a male or female, you should be able to follow these steps and it should give you a good idea of which one it is. And if you have any other ideas for any other videos you want me to do, let me know down in the comments and please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, me and Penny, we'll see you on the next one.